Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2013 63 plate Audi A4 2 litre TDI S line black edition that's coming part exchange against one of our other vehicles and will be priced to clear. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest because um, we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we'll back round to the start and when I zoom back in we'll look over the car panel by panel and I'll point out any dents, blemishes, scratches or anything like that. So the new side front wing looks in good condition, just one or two light touch-ups to be done nearer the front. Near side front and near side rear doors look in good condition and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy is in nice condition and the near side front tire is a high-end Michelin with a good four or five mm tread remaining. Moving down the near side now to the near side rear alloy. Same again, a really, really nice condition alloy and the near side rear tire has got a good six mm tread on it, looks nearly new. Looking down the near side from rear to front now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Near side rear quarter looks good, both near side doors look in good condition and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, so we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastic to start with. Light superficial scuff just on the rear bumper and lower plastic there. One or two light marks dotted just along the centre of bumper there to be touched up. Slight blemish in the paintwork just there as well, but other than that, looks in okay condition. Tail lights and tailgate looks in good condition along the top as well. Obviously has the aftermarket spoiler on it. Rear screen looks good and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks in okay condition, as do both offside doors and the offside front wing. Offside rear alloy looks in good condition again, and the offside rear tire, we've got another Michelin with approximately five mil of tread on it. I've just noticed a little blemish in the paint just along here on this rear quarter and rear bumper as well. Moving down the offside, I think that's a bit of polish left from Valet. So the offside front alloy, again another nice condition alloy. And the offside front tyre, it's got a good 5mm of tread on it. A couple of blemishes in the paint again to be touched up just along this arch here. Looking back down the offside from front to rear. Offside front wing looks good, obviously other those blemishes to be touched up. Both doors look okay and the offside rear quarter looks good as well. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself. Offside light looks in good condition, may just need a little bit of a polish up. Offside grill looks good. We do have some superficial marks that need, will need touching up, as you can see along the bumper on this side. Aftermarket centre grill looks in okay condition. Near side lights and grills look good. And again, a couple of tiny little marks to touch up along that side of the bumper too. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. Paintwork looks in good condition, no major dents or scratches or anything like that. And to be fair, barely any marks to be touched up at the front either. Looks in nice condition. Front screen looks in good condition, no major chips or cracks. We've got some light surface pepper, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car. We'll check out the boot first. Nice sizable boot on these A4s, all carpets and plastics, look in good condition. These mats, if they fall, this car and fit. It's a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. All rubber seals look good. All the trim underneath the boot lid looks in good condition as well. Moving throughout the interior, rear door cards look in good condition. And there you have the rear bench, half leather, half cloth, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headliner throughout looks good, backs of both front seats look good, and the rear carpets are in good condition as well. Front door cards are in good condition. S-line kick plates, front carpets in really nice condition. Front seats look good, bolsters still firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears. One tiny little cigarette burn just there in the centre. Other than that, looks in okay condition. Passenger seat in just as nice condition as the drivers, if not a little bit better. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Car sounds good on start up, starts up smoothly. 
and now we'll run you over as much of the spec as we possibly can. So we've got full electric windows with electronic and adjustable side mirrors, central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle, automatic lights and wipers in this car, cruise control on the stalk just underneath the indicators. Up the centre console you've got a fully adjustable armrest, two usable cup holders, we've got uh, full parking sensors on this vehicle with optical display, stop start, uh, stop start and traction control, six speed manual transmission with electronic parking brake, dual climate control air conditioning and front heated seats, all the MMI controls in the centre, we'll run through those now. As you can see we've got DAB radio and a few other options, in media you've got CD player, SD player and Audi music interface and we've got full telephone prep as well. With this being the black edition, it comes with the upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker system. And we're finished off with this flat bottom S-Line leather-bound multifunction steering wheel. It is just missing the one blank button. The button that goes there doesn't actually do anything. Um, and we're on 98,269 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.